the roadmap to do to our development. Obviously, um, you see no dates there. Um, but there's a reason why dates are not included. Um, it's primarily because of the interrelated nature of each of these elements that, that we put up here. Um, so, in the first instance, if we look at some of the basic policy considerations, um, let's think about things such as tax policy. Um, we need to have enabling policies in place, enabling tax policies in place, to get some of uh, our financial product, financial products that we have in mind off the ground. So, for example, the collective investment schemes that I mentioned, the funds. Now, in many other jurisdictions, you'll have pass-through taxation, which is, uh, uh, you know, eliminating uh, double taxation. So, uh, we need to think through uh, items such as that. And it's also relevant, for example, for asset bank securities that I mentioned that, that banks may want to um, undertake. Um, in terms of openness, what we'd like to do is ensure that there's, we would like to enable wide participation uh, in the Ethiopian capital markets. So we need to create uh, an environment or we need to develop a regulatory framework that enables uh, that wide participation. Part of the reason also that we're writing our, uh, our directives, pardon me, uh, with international best practices in mind. And obviously, we'd like to have a broad and diversified investor base um, because that's actually what enables uh, liquidity in the market. So um, it enables uh, easier uh, possibility of buying and what they're buying, what they're selling, um, and then also uh, accounting standards. Uh, it's important that we rely, we can rely on the information that's being provided to us in by the various issuers of securities. So, development of accounting standards and auditing standards will definitely be one of the areas that we need to keep on working on. Um, and lastly, um, the bottom part says market development, um, and in that, um, essentially accommodating this market, um, but in doing so, it's very important that we take this in a very sequential manner. Uh, it's not something that can all be done um, in one day, um, and I think um, the phrase that was used was um, rational development, um, so um, this is what constitute elements of our roadmap, and we're hoping that by following this, these elements, we can create a, a good, healthy, viable capital markets in Ethiopia. Thank you. Whether or not they have a doctor this yet, or maybe even the regulator who, who, who whether or not they actually question whether or not they agree with some of the products and services that we'll be talking about. But the idea is generally to, to give you a bit of context of what the exchange does, where we are in the exchange project in terms of the implementation that we're going through, but also I think. Uh, uh, and to live up to the theme of this uh, session, the idea would be to do a bit of, you know, to showcase um, and, and whet your appetite in terms of uh, what are the things that we're doing together, especially as a market service provider, intermediary, etc. At most, about 25% stake in the exchange, and this is variable. To the extent that is private sector interest, the, the role of the government could be reduced. Or if there is no price I can interest in uh, higher than that. Uh, so we, got, we are set up as a project office uh, with an EIH and we started work uh, around June and, and, and we are a team of five or six people together with uh, international experts and advisors. Uh, we introduced you to the coffee uh, break. Well, the idea as, a, as an exchange, we will come back to that. Thing. Of course, don't get our Employers, uh, building the exchange is not a rocket science. Uh, at the end, it's usually about platform, it's about rules and human resources. We worked on our governance structure, technology assessment, market development, work, etc. Uh, this was much of our activity the past six months, I would say, 50% of that would be around market development. Understanding issuers, understanding investors, and understanding the ecosystem. In the next couple of months, we will be Trying to raise capital, probably by March, April, uh, we we'll, we'll call you back again, probably in this room, uh, uh, to get your money. Uh, right now, we're we're only somehow uh, discussing conceptual uh, awarding our technology provider, hiring people, etc., and, and trying to launch sometime mid uh, next year, before mid next year, hopefully.
So although, you know, as Hannah said, although we enjoy the spotlight and we appreciate uh, the capital markets, we, we understand that capital markets are not entirely about its rules. I think at the end, you know, probably on top of these capital markets, it lies a broader public agenda, right, to raise long-term investment capital. And that the channel to, to us actually meeting that gap and, and feeling that gap is, is several. And our role here is actually only to facilitate and perhaps create liquidity uh, for investors. And, and that's what I would say is only part of the story for capital markets. And the channel to actually create and maximize that long-term capital uh, are very much different. Um, so for instance, you know, if you would just pick the rate market, uh, only a portion of that rate market actually trades them in exchange. It's only a portion of that that's actually liquid. The rate market mostly relies on the uh, we have to find value to our souls in this, uh, in this infrastructure. Uh, Hannah uh, mentioned about the CST. So between the exchange and the CST, the idea is we, we see the CST being set up under the National Bank because we'll be holding both public securities, treasury release, government bonds, and etc. and also uh, private security, so shares, uh, private bonds, and etc. Uh, so we rely on the NDI and the NDI uh, to help us set up this market infrastructure and, 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 and enhance the relevance. So of course, you know, I'm at the risk of oversimplifying, and the end goal is to create liquidity, but, you know, we, we do that by organizing markets. Uh, that's a part and parcel of the liquidity conversation, right? Imagining that up, you'd say, you know, military, uh, private, uh, etc., etc. Et and, and, and as we say in the next slide, you know, when we say, oh, this is our pretty market, this is our market, MSME market, that's actually part and parcel of our role in terms of the market. We play our own role in enhancing transparency, corporate governance through our listing rules, through our SRO function about the towards our members. Uh, eventually, the end is to create, perhaps, enhance. Uh, security uh, of the transactions, uh, integrity of the transactions. Of course, we create efficiency today. We have uh, a semi functional OTC market, and I think some of the local brokers are also in, the, in this room. I, if, I, if I see few, I'll, I'll, I see few of them here. No, we'll talk to them how actually the current function, the current market actually functions. It's a bit inefficient, right? So if, if you have to actually trade uh, certain security you have, probably a bank share, etc., uh, to create efficiency in that, in that ecosystem. And, and that's exactly what we do. Uh, yeah, and then, of course, we have a market capital role. Uh, we will we, we, we probably uh, make money by introducing products, producing services. And, and, and this is actually a function that we take seriously as a very green field exchange. So how do we do this other than, you know, our bigger objective uh, through our mandates and services, right? So we typically, we're a product and services provider. We do and those product and services are one to one mission and derivation of members. Um, we prioritize that uh, because this is an everyday decision. Uh, second by, you know, through our listing, trading, and survey expansion. Third, through investment protection, compliance, enforcement function, that uh, are part of this uh, role that I said, and of course, distributing <coughs> that uh, and that will enhance, enhance uh, the market. And obviously, bigger role in the first few years would be actually to work with the same view uh, to create uh, uh, perhaps a, a, a sustainable capital market. So, yeah, obviously, we'll be interested in terms of, you know, okay, this is the exchange, then what does the exchange do? Uh, obviously, we have the two play by the markets, our equity market, uh, the share market, the axial area. So, uh, that would be our primary market. Although, you know, prominently, we think exchanges are all about the equity market. That's been one of the same years. So, to just give you a bit of, you know, uh, highlights in terms of what the equity market would be. Obviously, we'll organize and again segment our markets. Again, that market organization segmentation function. It's as if, you know, um, you make it easier. Our indices function uh, uh, comes to picture that we'll be introducing uh, funds into, into the market. So, and then, and REITs are uh, 
probably in the paper we we'll call them BRICS, uh, Real Estate Investment uh, Trusts. The idea would be uh, the service providers engage with us here. So obviously, this is an equity market. Uh, all investors, uh, uh, with a certain exception, probably we'll discuss that later. But our part of our efficiency enhancing function is, is delivered through uh, what we do in terms of how we organize the market. Right? So equity markets traditionally, conventionally, are order driven, and our platform and our system will create uh, perhaps an order in terms of how. But hopefully, through our advocacy function, we'll see what we can do about foreign investment. Second market for us is the fixed income market. Obviously, this is primarily will be initially driven by government securities. Today, uh, government of Ethiopia through the central bank issues a lot of treasury bills, uh, and they spend around 300 billion per every year. Uh, you know, of course, you are also introduced to the mandatory bond issue, and since that has significantly increased, uh, uh, has more than doubled. So today, I think the pension fund contributes, I know there's a pension fund representative here probably, about 40% into that market, and more than 50, 60% is, is, is within the, the private hands. In the sense that creating liquidity in the debt market would be very much different from uh, the equity market. So in a sense, this would be a very, what you call direct market, an OTC market. Uh, and in essence, it would be very much different from the rest of the units within the exchange. So both the market governance rules, uh, the team within the exchange, the participants, and the members will be unique. And ideally, uh, after a couple of years of maturity, this unit will can come out as a, a subsidiary within ESX as a holding entity uh, uh, down, down the line. So uh, it, will be, it will be a wholesale market where, you know, if you're a broker already, uh, your role will be secondary to what the banks would like to do uh, between themselves, if I'm not mistaken. So it would be a direct wholesale market for, for, for investors. Uh, to enhance our role in the debt market, we also want to play a bit of a role in the interbank money market. Well, across the globe, you have you know, diverse experience in terms of the interbank market, uh, creating that liquidity so that financial institutions can actually participate in the rate market. Uh, and that's exactly what we found out through our consultations with uh, the banks, uh, and I see some of you there already. So uh, we come back to this in terms of what we are, you know, what kind of investments we have, who's, who's actually the potential uh, candidate to see as, to participate as an investor in this market, etc. Et but essentially, if we create a liquid market, we see ample potential even for retail investors to come into this market. Uh, take the, the Kenyan experience. Uh, we also have our own infrastructure bond experience, which is very important. Uh, but, you know, money market funds easily be onboarded into the market. But down the line, building that MSME pipeline would be very, very important for us. And, and that's how actually we see this alternative market. Thank you. Now we've covered uh, where the, the Ethiopia security exchanges, uh, the kind of uh, market models uh, that are in place, and now we get uh, to the beefy part. So today's knowledge series is really more about the role of intermediaries. Uh, you know, we all have different expectations of how we will, we will have a role, we will participate in the, in the capital market system.